Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 24th of March 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know as we go into a new week here? On Monday, we have seen a historic move for gold. This is the biggest one day move on record for gold breaking out over 5% in a single day. In fact, from Friday where we discussed in detail on the week ahead commodity report where we had entered at 1,480 US dollars per ounce, our long position is now up over 1,000 points. So we've seen an incredible breakout here on gold over the last 24 hours. Of course, yesterday we had the FOMC statement and the Federal Reserve indicate that they are going to provide unlimited quantitative easing to the financial markets. With that, gold is now playing its safe haven role. We're seeing gold, big inflows come into this. In fact, Goldman Sachs earlier on today has put out their price target of gold over the next 12 months of 1,800 US dollars per ounce has now given a buy signal for gold. Now, of course, many of you that follow us at the Golden Silver Club, many members of the Golden Silver Club, were very early to this move. We got into the position on Friday before the close at 1,480 US dollars per ounce. This is a position we continue to manage. Yesterday on the week ahead commodity report, we were discussing gold when it was at 1,555 US dollars and we've since now broken out to 1,600. So first off, well done to everybody who caught the move. Day to day, you definitely want to take advantage of the volatility right now. So gold, the commodities, precious metals, they're providing phenomenal opportunities on a daily basis. We discussed this in detail with you last week, where some of the ranges where we move a thousand points in a single day, they are the equivalent to what would take you several weeks, sometimes months to get on a commodity or a FX market some of the moves that we're seeing right now, a thousand point move in 24 hours, this could take up to three, four weeks, sometimes months to get this in normal market conditions. You really want to be making sure you're focused in, especially right now if you've got more time available to trade, to focus on the markets, to educate yourself, to really learn great ways, research driven approach to tackle these markets right now and make the most out of these lucrative opportunities. So for those of you that are nimble in the markets can really take these opportunities right now. There are some really fantastic trades that are setting up, not only that have already taken place, but that are setting up right now. I'll give you another example. Platinum, we've actually entered into a position just this morning, which is already up 250 points. We outlined the platinum opportunity yesterday in the week ahead commodity report. Even palladium has broken out over 2000 points since yesterday's report. Don't get FOMO, so don't have the fear of missing out. Just reanalyze the opportunities in the market right now. The Federal Reserve have just done a huge amount of quantitative easing, and this is going to continue now right the way through the year. So this is quantitative easing at unprecedented levels. You would expect gold to provide its safe haven status here. We're now seeing silver uptick in price. Platinum has broken out today. Palladium has broken out. We're starting to see the energies pick up momentum. WTI crude oil was up 11% yesterday. And this is really trickling through across the board at the moment. In fact, the S&P 500 even hit limit up about an hour ago. And we're continuing to see the S&P 500 get supported as a result of the quantitative easing measures that have come into place. But right now, you do need to take stock. Have a look at the opportunities right now that we're seeing in the markets and you also want to make sure that you're utilizing a research driven approach. Don't FOMO in with technicals which are not going to provide you with relevant entries. You need to be aware of what the hedge funds and money managers are doing in the market, what the institutions are doing. You can see Goldman Sachs today has put out a buy alert for gold. We've since had a huge move on gold over the last 24 hours. As I mentioned, it's the biggest one day move in history for gold here. We've seen a significant breakout. The gold silver ratio, as I mentioned to you last week and also on the week ahead commodity report, it started to break down after it reached all time highs, unprecedented levels over 125 to one. Huge disparity of gold to silver prices. So effectively, silver was the cheapest it had ever been relative to gold. And we've now seen gold have a significant breakout. Silver is catching up, platinum is breaking out. I'm sure you can observe all of this for yourself. You can go back and watch the commodity report just yesterday, where we've outlined these trade opportunities, the momentum that we've been seeing, even last week's 
report as well. We've been in and out of the markets four times last week on gold, banking over 1,580 points. Our current open position that we executed on gold just on Friday is up over 1,000 points. We've taken a position on platinum this morning, which is up 250 points. And actually, we've also taken a position on natural gas as well, which is currently up over 50 points. The point being, this is very fluid. There are opportunities all the time. If you miss out on one trade, the following session, the following day, there's another opportunity. We're seeing that every day at the moment. It really is a case you snooze and you lose at the moment. You need to take these opportunities, particularly if you've got more time available, you're looking for ways to produce, of course, high income opportunities online right now. There couldn't be a better time to learn trading, learn a research-driven approach, use an approach that works in these market conditions to be able to capitalize on the moves that we're seeing right now. So with that said, Gold's currently trading at 1,600 US dollars per ounce. We have platinum right now, which has already broken out 250 points in our favor. Palladium's had a breakout. Silver's starting to catch a bit at these levels as well. Our focus on gold for today's session will go over silver in silver asset of the day. But with gold trading at the 1600 level at the moment, I want to see whether we can break and close above this zone today. If we can, we can then start to propel forward to the 1625, the 1650 level. Gold priced in British pound sterling has already broken out to all time highs. Gold price in Australian dollars, New Zealand dollars, they're also sitting right near their seven year highs right now. Gold, of course, priced in US dollars, the equivalent move to get back towards 1700 would be from here still quite an extensive move, over a thousand point move, a hundred dollar move for gold. But you don't want to FOMO in and get right in at the highs. You want to look for these sniper entries we've been discussing with you in the latest week where we've been building positions at that 1470, 1480 zone in the last week. You want to take advantage of those moves. If you miss the move on gold, you can start looking at platinum. If you miss that move, you can start looking at silver and so forth, which we'll cover with you in silver asset of the day. Goldman Sachs is now predicting over the next 12 months, 1,800 US dollars per ounce for gold. Again, there are opportunities day to day. If we suddenly get a pullback on gold, whether it's today, whether it's midweek and so forth, I would look at pullbacks at the moment for this week as opportunities to potentially add to trades right now, but you don't want to FOMO in and buy right at the highs. That said, the next levels I'm targeting at the moment are 1625, 1650 for our long position right now. And of course, we'll keep you updated of this as we go into next week's commodity report and gold asset of the day. And we'll leave details below this link as well if you'd like to find out more about becoming a member of the Gold and Silver Club. Thank <laughs> you.